right, inside this box is the Gerber tri-tip. And we're gonna check it out together. Let me trust me, this is an awesome knife. All right, this is the Gerber tri-tip. Oh, shoot! I forgot. I didn't forget, but I had them out and then I picked them back up. Dun, dun, dun! All right, so Smoky Mountain Knife Works, SMKW.com provided this knife for us to observe and to check out. And I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much to the awesome people over there. This is the Gerber Tri-Tip, and it is just an amazing knife. I've already tried it out, so we'll show you the little testing that I did on it afterwards. For me, this is just gonna end up being one of my favorite kitchen knives, period. Just, all right, we're gonna get into it real quick, but this is, I think this is, hold on, let me scroll down here on my specs. Let me make sure I got them right. So I don't lie to anybody. All right, 7CR17, so, not a super steel, but if you're in the kitchen, you don't really need super steels. Who's got, you know, M390 kitchen knives? This is gonna be perfect. It's gonna, if it dulls up on you, you can just sharpen it up easily. It's not gonna rust. Check that out. Whoa, just about took my thumb off. Oh, I flipped it around too much. But it's got an awesome blade. One, two, three inches of that 7CR MOV, CR17 MOV. Check that out. And, but the thing is, then you got this aluminum handle here. This is aluminum here. Let me taste it. Yep, yep, that's aluminum. Full tang kind of cool blade. But the awesome thing about this is the pinch. You get this thing like this, and it's just so perfect. Right there is a three-finger pinch knife for your chopping. You can't believe how awesome this thing is. Now, I got some great kitchen knives. I spent a bunch of money on Blade Show for one of my new favorite choppers, and it's awesome. But in these little like chopping peppers and onions kind of thing, I don't know, this might just take it just because of the control you get right here, just like that. There aren't any hot spots on this thing. You're not, I think I may have said that in the chopping video, but you're not going, oh, I, oh, this is hurting me or that feels uncomfortable. You got all this control. You got your finger jammed up here against the blade. So it's not sliding. You don't have to worry about that. You got a lot of chopping area. You can check that out underneath your finger. So right there, you're not touching the board. Even with my chunky fingers, I'm not touching the board at all. So you're going all the way down to the board with that chop and that pinch. Now, one thing I didn't think about to do was you got this beveled edge here. That's good for just scraping, scraping the whatever you're to the side. I learned and I haven't learned, but I know the knowledge in my head. You're not supposed to scrape with your with your blade, you're not supposed to scoot the vegetables out of the way. So you can just do it that way and not mess up your nice little edge that you got over here. So I'm gonna try that from now on. I didn't try it in the video. I should have, it would have made me look really, really smart instead of just moderately, just moderately talented. But you know, you gotta go with one or the other sometimes. But no, just kidding. Anyways, this knife is awesome. It's made by Gerber. It's really thick. Let me show you how much it weighs real quick. Check this out. You make sure that's on camera. It is on camera. All right. Let's go over here. All right, I'm just blowing through everything. All the numbers look the same. Six ounces. So it's pretty hefty. I mean, it's got a little heft to it. So very nice, very thick. And 170 grams for my European friends. Check that out. Now, the thing is on this, you're going to pay, I think it's 35 bucks over at Smoky Mountain. Check that out. 35 bucks for just an amazingly useful piece of kitchen equipment. Now you could take this out in the field with you. If you had to do some field chopping, you know, some squirrel briskets, you know, you never know how small your meat's gonna be. You know, rabbit flank steaks, I don't know. But this will do the job. Get some wild onions out there, maybe some mustard greens you gotta chop up. This thing's gonna do it. Now I'm gonna show you here on this video real quick what a good job it does. Okay, tonight I'm going to try out this Gerber tri-tip and we're going to see how it does in the kitchen because I'm thinking this is like mostly a camp kitchen kind of thing. So we're going to check it out. <clears throat> I'm going to make some steak and peppers. So what I'm doing is cutting into these poblanos here. 
Oh man, this thing is sharp as freak. So this is the first thing I've cut with this coming out of the box. So we're just kind of getting in here on that. Oh, it's perfect as a little pinch knife here. So let's see. Just slices up nicely. Let's see. Now, don't get on me for my slicing skills. Just look at the thing for how it slices. Check that out. I know what you're thinking. I should slice these smaller, but I like the pepper chops a little bit big just for biting into purposes. So here we go. There's the dog. He hears the chopping, but it's not beef. This thing is awesome. Lots of control, really sharp, and just perfect for chopping and slicing things. So I'll do one more pepper here and then I'll cut into some meat. I won't do the whole dinner. But uh, if you have any questions, leave them right there in the comment section and we will answer them. So there we go, there we go, there we go. Supper's in 30 minutes. <sighs> This is Jimmy Slash. There we go, just chopping right through all this. this. This slice is really nice. This will be something I'm gonna be using in the kitchen from now on. And for what you're gonna pay for it, it's very, very useful. You're gonna pay a bunch of money for a pinch knife that you can grab up here and get all the kind of control you need with, just like that. So, as a little pinch slicer, it's awesome. Let me grab these steaks here. See what we can do to clean these bad boys up. Just say you're out in the field or something. Maybe not in the field, but watch that lady. There we go. Okay. Oh, we didn't catch you. <clears throat> we'll catch you in a couple years. All right. right. There we go. Cut right through here. Slices right through that meat. Get that fat off of there for you. Check that out. We'll come down the middle here. Get some big chunks here. What? The dog wants a bite, all right, we'll give the dog a bite. There you go, Wilfred. Chew into that. But anyways, this knife, this is a Gerber tri-tip. Just perfect for kitchen use. Doesn't get your hand tired, there aren't any hot spots. Sometimes you get a pinch knife and it's hurting your fingers or hurting something in a different way. Let me grab another one of the steaks there, lady. But not this one. It doesn't hurt anywhere. So you can sit there and use this thing for a while if you want to. Now, you're not going to be able to chop brisket and stuff with it, obviously, but this little small slicing chopping jobs is not going to be a problem. There we go. Let's go right through that. Something you can stick in this little, I don't want to touch that too much, but locks in that sheath. And you got it with you at all times. If you're out and about, I'm probably just going to stick this one in a drawer just because of how useful it is to stick it in my block. I love this thing. There we go. All right. Chop that up, not a problem. All right, there we go. Gerber tri-tip in action for probably what you're gonna use it for. Let's go back to the table. All right, so there you go. You see that? Works out great. Slice through that meat, slice through the peppers. Almost sliced into my wife, but that's not what it's there for. That's not what it's here for. You're gonna need something bigger to slice into your wife. No, no, hey, we're gonna cut that out. But seriously. This knife is really great. I can't recommend it high enough, especially for you kitchen guys, kitchen ladies that are looking for something just convenient to grab, stick in your hand. Now you're not gonna be slicing long slices of brisket, but for cutting some meat and cutting some strips, definitely right there as far as usefulness goes. And I have a bunch of knives that I have like that. I have, you know, $400 knives. I have some, even some 60, $70 knives. And this one, I think y'all know the ones I'm talking about. And I like this one better. I like this one better than the other ones you all know that I like. So I'll be using this a lot. This is going to be a kind of a go-to grab kind of knife just because I'm not really super awesome at chopping and I need as much control through here as possible so I don't take off my fingernails again like I did last year. And this is a great, great knife for that. Easy to sharpen, decent steel for what you're going to be using it for. And it's going to stay clean. Not, it's not going to rust up on you. You have to oil it up and all that. And it's good for going out in the field. So, let me know what you think. And let me see. Let me see what we got. Like right here. Subscribe right here. Come back, hit the bell so you know when I'm coming back on. And then, check out the rest of these videos.
I will talk to y'all later. Go check out smkw.com. Thank you again to them. Awesome, awesome people. Go check them out on Facebook too. You get to interact with them over there and it's really, really cool. Now I'll talk to you later.